Hi, I'm Lily, nice to meet you. If you're not new here, welcome back. And as you can tell, I am feeling under the weather. I am not feeling my best and my voice is off. So I apologize if it sounds weird, because it is weird. <laughs> but if you read the title of the video, you already know what you're here for. Basically, it's a new what is in my makeup bag or beauty bag, whatever bag you want to call it. Um, for some days now, I've been using this because since getting unwell, I have not been in the best mood to do a full face of makeup. So far, I've been rocking this look, minus the lipstick. Um, I do change out the lipstick, but I've been wearing the same look for the past couple of days because it's minimal, it's pretty easy, it still lets, let, lets me feel put together, so that's what I've been doing. And I've recently changed this bag, the normal bag that I have. Um, it's a little bit smaller. I'm washing it. It's getting cleaned because it's been a hot minute <laughs> since it's been cleaned properly. And I've moved it to a different bag, but that bag, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just really big, but it's where I keep the majority of my items, especially my project pan items. But, um... <laughs> I've been using this because life is so much simpler this way <laughs> and I'm saying makeup bag slash beauty bag because I do keep quite a bit in there I keep jewelry I keep a mirror um, yes plus all the makeup it's it's mainly just makeup oh and hair ties I also keep hair ties <laughs> but here is what the inside looks like as you can see, there are two pockets in here, and I have a lot of stuff in here. First things first, right up top, we have the eyelash curler. It's an eyelash curler that I've had for a few years now. I just recently changed the rubber bit right at the bottom because the other one was destroyed after many years of usage. I do have other eyelash curlers, but um, I... I just stick to the same one because I, I out of sight, out of mind. And then moving on, we have two scrunchies or hair ties, whatever you want to call them. Here's what they look like. Then we have this little mini make not makeup, <laughs> jewelry bag. Uh, it says Pandora. Nothing in here is Pandora. It's where I keep these earrings, um, a necklace, a bracelet, and a ring. Well, minus the ring I'm wearing now, but yes, I keep that in there. Here is the mirror. This was actually a set that I recently got. It's really nice. This is what it looks like. I'm not going to like push it that way because I don't want you guys to see everything, but it is what it is. It's really nice. I like it because normally I was just using a free mirror that I got at one point and it was great for keeping in my purse. After many years, I dropped it and it broke. <laughs> uh, not the mirror part, but the packaging, and I just did not like it without the packaging. So let me get a new mirror and give it a little bit of money. <laughs> you know, invest a little bit. Then we have the extra bit of rubber for the eyelash curler. I don't really need it in there. I just had nowhere else to put it. We have the e.l.f. Pro Eyeshadow Primer. The L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer. This is a concealer? I kid you not, for like the past... Oh, it is a concealer. <laughs> um, because when I was reading it, originally I read the corrector part. So I'm like, oh, a color corrector, that's cool. Turns out it's also a concealer. I'm not surprised because that's what I originally thought it was, but it said corrector and I'm like, so it's not a concealer? But it is. But uh, either way, here it is. I like it. It's what I've been using. And it's small, so it fits better in the bag. Then to go with that, we have the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is the one I have. I like it. It's It does the job. I just use it to set the corrector. The concealer, I use it to set the concealer and, and put it a little bit under under my eyes here. You know, just to, because 
basically the issue that I have is that I always have to put concealer or a brightener under my eyes and on my eyelids because I have very dark eyelids and I have very dark under eyes. <laughs> so if I don't put something to brighten it up, I'll look like I'm dead tired and like half, you know, basically just half dead, you know, like a walking corpse. And we're not in that. Now moving on to lip products. We have the Essence Lipstick in Irresistible. The Milani Lipstick in Matte Naked. The Milani Lipstick in Best Red. And the Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink in Speak Up. It's really pretty, I like it. Other things, uh, Baby Lips, because Baby Lips are my favorite lip balms. And I've had these for a very long time. I enjoy them. This one is in my pink, I believe. Zero one, my pink. Yes, it is. Then we have the Revlon lipstick in I Got Chills. Wait, let me show you what they look like because hold on. <laughs> it's a really pretty corally pink. And then we have another pink with the irresistible one from Essence. Because I love me some pink in bright colors. This is what the matte naked looks like. It's a really pretty nude. Very muted, I like it. Then this one, it's rather sheer, but it is buildable, so I do enjoy it for softer days and days where I just wanna like put a little bit of oomph to me. I was wearing it the other day. If you check out my Instagram, you'll see that I'm wearing it, but you know, there's that. <laughs> Then we have single eyeshadows. This is an eyeshadow from Phase Zero. One of the reasons I like it is because it brings it brings a mirror, and it's kind of dirty, but that's because I dropped the eyeshadow and it shattered, so I had to repress it. It's a really pretty gold shade. Hopefully, nothing falls. <laughs> Because me being mean, being clumsy, dropped it, shattered it, and then tried to repress it. So, you know. Sorry, hold on. One of the packaging is caught dirty. This is a Petal to the Metal from The Bomb. This is eyeshadow in Turbo. Here it looks like. So far, I like it. I haven't used it. Wait, no, I have used it once. But I haven't used it yet since putting it in the bag. So there's that. Then we have this Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Panther. It's what I use for my eyebrows because I am I have very black hair. This doesn't look dark, but that's because that was dyed. And now it's gone. So I'm left with my hair growing out with this lighter shade. But if you see up here, I have dark brown. Some people say it's black, but it's dark brown hair. And this just matches perfectly with my hair and my eyebrows. Because my eyebrows are not dark brown, my eyebrows are black. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I like it, it's preferable, it's, uh, this was there. I apologize for this video, I know I ain't sounding right, but I'm sick, I'm under the weather, so be it. <laughs> then we have this chapstick and it was a like coconut pineapple, I believe. I just used it like a little bit ago. Um, it's fine, it does the job, it did what I wanted it to do. Then we have the Essence False Lash Mascara. Here it is. This is what I'm using. It's in my project pan. I'm trying to finish it completely. Then we have the Wet n Wild Pinch Me Pink Blush. It is also in my project pan. I'm trying to like, you know, use that up as well. Then there's this little highlighter I got from IBY. I don't know what that means, but it's IBY. And here's what it looks like. It's really pretty. The reason I put it in the bag was specifically because it was small so I could fit more in here. Because I did, I do have other highlighters but they're kind of big. And I, and I try to keep what I put in there rather small. But you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. And then we have all of these. We have brushes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me grab the brushes first. So, here it is. These are the brushes. Blending slash 
putting, powdering my under eyes, blending, eyebrows, concealer, packer brush, blending brush, and blush brush. Because of course. <laughs> um, moving on. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? I am missing something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's right in front of my face, and I completely forgot to mention it because I'm trying to film multiple videos, and this was part of the other <laughs> part of the other video that I plan on doing. And this is the sweetest candy quad from Wet n Wild. It is my oldest palette, and it is my most used palette, as you can see from all the pans. This is what I currently have on my eyes right now, and it's also what I have on my cheeks and on my nose is highlighter because this shade I adore using for highlighter and it's also my normally those shades will be my least used shades because I normally just keep it for the inner corner but I find I really enjoy it as highlighter on my cheeks and on my nose so there's that but that is also in the bag I just forgot because I put it away for the other video <laughs> yeah again apologize I'm not feeling well okay I'm, I'm doing my best with what I've got. Then we have one, two, three, no, four. Four lip liners. We have, so we have the shades Red Dynamite, Indian Pink, Pink Candy, and this Essence one in First Love, I believe. Yes, First Love. Here are the lip liners. Oh, and these these are from Rimmel London. I, I like them, they're nice. But last but not least, inside the bag, we have the Wet n Wild Retractable Breakup Proof Gel Liner. And then we have the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner. Here it is. And that is everything, actually. Hold on. Hold on. Plus this. This is the bag. And now that it's empty, this, I put the brushes back in. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It has, it's really nice, very simple, two pockets to, sep to separate your stuff. And yes, that is everything. <laughs> so that was everything inside the bag. Thank you for watching. This is what the bag looks like. I love it. It's been perfect for what I've been using for the past few days. I really enjoy it. Uh, sorry this video is very mellow, very quiet, not too much. I'm just, I am not in the mood to be extra today, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye guys.